23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. what he has created to express himself in terms of healing, deliverance, salvation, and all of God's blessings. Now we are going to keep listening to testimonies upon testimony. And now we want to listen to the man we are watching now. Sir, you welcome in Jesus' name. Tell us your name and share with us your testimony. Children of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Michael Bassi. I am from Akwaibom State. I'm a civil servant, a teacher by profession with the Federal Ministry of Education. I am here to give a testimony concerning the anointing water I have in my hand. It, my testimony goes like this. I was last promoted 2004 and to the post of a chief education officer and I have since been there from 2004 to 2013 when we had another, another uh, promotion interview was done. But before then, because I was not promoted, I was very uh, demoralized. Because my colleagues, or my colleagues, yes, my junior, whom I was at the post before then, they caught up with me after these 10 years. And we did our promotion examinations together. It was not pleasing, but there was nothing I could do. So, as God will have it, I'm a regular viewer of uh, Emmanuel TV. I have seen what this anointing water in my hand has done. And so I said to myself, my own case will not escape, uh, escape the anointing of God. Therefore, on the, the examination was to be held on the 8th of August, 2013. I knew I had no other thing to, to, to do after I have done the test, the examination four good times and my result was that I failed. Then I ran here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations having seen series of promotions and testimonies and I was opportune to obtain this an, new anointing water in my hands. I gave glory to God and I went home and I prayed. I read first the pamphlet and I prayed. I said, God, you have been doing it for others. You will not uh, let me down. You say, those who trust in you, they shall see no shame. Do it for me so that I can have a testimony as I have been seeing for others. Therefore, I, came, I prayed. On the 8th of October, uh, August 2013, we went for the exam. And after the exam, behold, the result came. And I was promoted Assistant Director, Federal Minister of Education. Shall we put our hands together for Christ Jesus? <laughs> Tell us once again, where are you promoted? Uh, Federal position. Minister of Education. But this examination is usually conducted by the Federal Civil Service Commission on behalf of all federal ministries. So for the past four years you've been stagnant, your position has been stagnant? Ten years, please. For the past ten years? Yes. Wow. Shall we put our hands together once again for Christ Jesus? Yes, indeed, the chief sin of the unsaved is for you not to believe in Christ Jesus. Yes, believing is our connection. 
Because faith acts now, it believes now, and it saves now. Tell your neighbor now. now. Say now. 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 Now is your encounter with Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Yes. yes. Can you continue with your testimony, sir? So now as I'm standing, I am Assistant Director of Federal Ministry of Education. And uh, my advice... Can you tell us before you go to okay. your advice, what is beside you, the document beside you? The document on the board here is evidence given to me by the Federal Civil Service Commission showing my promotion to the post of Assistant Director Education, grade level 15. Glory be to God Almighty. Shall we put our hands together for Christ Jesus once again? Yes, we can now listen to your advice. My advice is that we all have problems, but there is no other way that we can solve our problem. We have to run to God. So my advice is when you have a problem, remember you have Jesus. Amen. Indeed, Amen. don't run from God, but run to God. We also want to advise you to make God's word the standard for your life, that this miracle that you have received today will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cet homme qui nous vient des États du Nigeria. Il nous dit qu'il est un professionnel de l'éducation et euh, au cours de sa carrière, il a eu à obtenir sa dernière promotion en 2004 comme responsable en chef de l'éducation au ministère fédéral de l'éducation. Il nous dit que depuis ce moment jusqu'en 2013, il n'avait plus eu de promotion. Même ceux qui étaient venus avant lui, euh, après lui, pardon, ont été promus et l'ont dépassé car lui, il échouait à chaque fois qu'il passait les examens de promotion. Il dit au total, il a échoué quatre fois et sa vie était très stagnante. Il arriva finalement à la synagogue église de toutes les nations et il eut l'opportunité de recevoir l'eau d'onction. Il appliqua l'eau d'onction avec foi et demanda l'assistance du Seigneur. Il passa à nouveau ses examens et il réussit brillamment. Aujourd'hui, il a reçu sa promotion comme directeur adjoint au ministère fédéral de l'éducation. Cette promotion est venue après dix ans de stagnation. Il rend toute la gloire à Dieu de l'avoir finalement écouté, de l'avoir finalement béni en lui donnant cette promotion dans sa carrière au nom de Jésus.